the issues for us are, you know, particularly making sure that making sure that people have a right to justice. You know, yes. people have a right to, to justice, and uh, we can't have uh, those sort of basic British rights end up being jeopardised by what is effectively Chris Grayling's obsession with massive break contracts and you know he did it with the work program he's mm. trying to do it with probation it, it's just it's a it's an ideology that is driving this about a contracting process that doesn't actually bear any relationship to the real world and to the actual services that we're talking about it's why the work program isn't working it's why the probation contract thing it actually increases risk and will cause huge problems and it's why this you know the legal aid framework is also um, causing huge problems as well. So, but what we want to do is to, to work with you and to have both the examples of where this isn't working. So, it, it, in terms of our objectives, so first, obviously, the, the justice. On the family side, and I think it's, uh, I mean, I'm personally particularly concerned about the issues around domestic violence mm. and, you know, the impact that this is having in those cases where, for everything they said in Parliament, it's not being, it, there's not an exemption in place. It's not all running fine for those cases. Actually, they are being heavily hit um, as well. And so it's to find those examples so that we've got the arguments that we can make, but also to really ask you as well for your thoughts and ideas about what should our response to this be. By the time we get to the election next year, given the things that will be in place, you know, whatever we might advise to campaign against in the meantime, but given what's likely to be in place, actually what is our best way of trying to amend this and trying to reform this in order to deliver the things that we need? You've listened and to the so lawyers you... talk about the effects the legal aid cuts are going to have. How do you think it's going to affect people in Holton? Well, I think the big concern that they were talking about is that you'll end up losing local justice, losing uh, firms and solicitors who understand the, the local area and have the connections and can make sure that people have got the proper legal representation that they need. And that's about whether it's support for victims, support for people who uh, might be going through difficult family cases, maybe domestic violence cases, and also when people are accused of a crime making sure that there's proper justice in the process as well. So, you know, as we know, our justice system is really important uh, and it's really important that it's not uh, undermined by these ill-thought-through changes. They were saying that many people might be forced to try and represent themselves and that could cause tremendous problems, couldn't it? Well, there is a risk. Obviously, when people are forced to defend themselves that uh, maybe they don't have the, the legal knowledge that they need perhaps for a complex case, but also that the cases can take much longer in court. And that's really bad for victims as well. It's really bad for uh, all of us to get justice if the court system ends up getting clogged up because there isn't enough expertise being provided for people when they're in a very difficult circumstance. What could you do if Labour came in? So we're campaigning against uh, a lot of the changes that the government's brought in and, and is uh, introducing because what we're very concerned, particularly around domestic violence cases, but also I think Chris Grayling seems to have an obsession with having very big contracts with big firms who then don't know the detail of local areas. We saw it with the work programme, that's not working. We've seen it with what they want to do with probation, which is uh, putting uh, the system at risk. And we're also seeing it with the legal aid as well. And I don't think this should be driven by ideology. I think it should be driven by practical ideas about what works. And that's what the Labour Party is determined to do.